Hello everyone, this is Ashok Sen and we have completed our admin beginner session. So today we're gonna start our admin intermediate session, okay? And in that we're gonna learn about formulas and validation chapter one. Okay, so this is our org, this is our home page. Here we can see objects, uh, some are custom and many are standard okay okay so now formulas uh, so first of all I gonna read what I have uh, what I have been add in my documentation okay so you got a lot of data in your organization your user need to access and understand this data at a glance without doing a bunch of calculation in their heads right Enter formula fields, the powerful tools that gives you control of how your data is displayed. Let's say you wanted to take two numerical fields on a record and divide them to create a percentage or a app you want to turn a field into clickable hyperlink for easy access to important information from a record page layout. Maybe you want to take two dates and calculate number of days between them. All these things are possible using formula fields. Okay. So now, what does formula fields do? Formula fields easy your uh, work. Like we don't have to like uh, create a separate fields for that. Those of things we just have to add some formulas in formula fields. Like for example, we we will gonna do an example here. So let me take example of student. Right? In student, uh, we have this much records okay uh, but one first of all i want to delete this without correct name records so just give me a minute okay okay here we deleted all the unknown records okay now i have student records when i click on a deepak i'll go i'll gonna get name right like deepak uh, student roll number and all those details which I have to fill okay now for using formula field I can create a formula field here like uh, in student I can calculate percentage right so what I'm gonna do is first of all I'm gonna go inside of student tab okay edit object and in that I'll gonna add some fields like we can take here as an example that a student have four subject right and we have to calculate the percentage of that given subject marks okay and we will gonna do that by formula field uh, for but first of all we have to create uh, like four subject number field okay so i'm just gonna create those four or five quickly okay so number okay data type should be number and next in that i'm gonna write okay mathematics okay mathematics okay uh, length would be three i don't need 18 length okay okay and next and next save a new because i want to create more fields okay i just created mathematics now i'll wanna create okay number okay biology mm -hmm. again length should be three next and save a new Okay, just give it a moment just loading I don't know why but yeah internet connection okay I'm sorry try again please okay there we go I hope I have created one minute okay biology is there mathematics is there okay two has been created now two more to go now I'm gonna take one more, I mean two more, so number field, 
should I write uh, chemistry okay there we go length would be 3 next and next and 7 new right again and this is our last field which I am creating right now for formula field elaboration okay chemistry now PHYSICS physics okay length should be 3 okay see now what we're gonna do is just we just gonna create some subject and we will get input from the user and we will gonna create a formula field which will calculate its percentage automatically okay I hope you got it now what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna see that does it update or not okay here we go updated mathematics biology chemistry okay so now I'll just gonna click on maths I'm just gonna 50 okay and 56 I know marks are so less but yeah okay and save whoa, whoa where are the marks I don't think that's nope it is not taken why okay 53 what is happening okay let me give the mark somewhere else okay okay mathematics 78 I really don't know what was happening here I think my data correct it okay okay my internet connection is fine so it should be work fine okay let me create a new record so we can just check it as a test any required field yep class is a required field which will I gonna get 12th okay in maths at 78 okay 98 there we want biology chemistry I don't like chemistry so I'll just gonna give it 68 okay physics I hate physics 58 and save okay in new record it's taken in old it doesn't I don't know why but yeah right now we just have to see like what is formula field things right so I'll just gonna pass that problem right now I'm gonna try once here and then we're gonna okay now it's taken okay so now what we have done we have just created a four field right in test we can see we have four fields like four subject in which student has gotten this much marks okay 78 98 68 and all those stuff now what I want is I want to calculate its percentage right so now what does formula field gives you power like it has says here that uh, your user need to access and understand this data at a glance without doing a bunch of calculation in their heads right if we don't want our user to do calculation in his or her head, heads okay so so what we're gonna do is we'll just gonna go a fields and relationship we're gonna click on new and in that data type we're gonna select formula there we go you can see here okay formula and I'll gonna click on next sorry I'll gonna name it as a percentage it will auto fill okay and I want percent right I want percent symbol behind that the num number which we like get here decimal like what does this mean like if someone got 61 percentage so we can put like dot zero zero or sixty one point forty five percentage right so that's the reason for decimal so I want two up to two decimals okay and next okay now I have here this whole bunch of a drawing or like a chart type thing which will in which I'll gonna input some fields or my logic here okay 
so field will be student yep okay now I can see here this whole subject so what I'm gonna do is insert operator see this is how formula fields look like okay before creation like advanced formula and all those stuff you you will learn this all things once you try yourself okay there are ample of things here which will lessen your work you don't have to hassle okay but right now we just have to create a simple percentage formula okay okay so let me use this simple formula only right now okay so I'll gonna input as we know the formula to calculate percentage is just like uh, a total marks of subject divided by uh, like total marks uh, the student has get and the total marks of subject right so okay so I'll just open here open parenthesis so I can add subject here open parenthesis and I'll gonna add subject one by one biology add chemistry add okay mathematics add and physics right I'm gonna close this parenthesis okay now I'll gonna divide it with 100 200 300 and 400 so I'm just gonna divide it with 400 okay and I'm gonna check syntax here okay it is okay here okay now we just gonna click on next and next and save okay so we have your pers percentage other data type is formula okay so we're gonna go and see ourselves like in our created record do we have percentage yep there we go percentage right we don't we didn't do anything we just input some fields and we just write our logic in formula field and system do its work on right so we're gonna see one more in some else record okay in Umang we're just gonna create it okay now Umang has been very clever student okay so we're just gonna give it 87 good 98 in biology kya baat hai in chemistry we're gonna 75 and physics physics uh, I don't know why people do like physics because I don't know how much I have physics okay 65 I'm gonna save it okay 81 percentage okay so this was the formula like how we can easily do the formula I hope you understand correctly right okay now let's see here let's see here let's see here in my documentation we just have created a formula fields right now roll up summary what does roll up summary means so let me read this while formula fields calculate values using fields within a single record roll up summary fields calculate values from a set of related records such as those in related list you can create roll up summary field that automatically display a value on a master record based on values of record in a detailed record so, <laughs> sorry sorry I, I have to read that line again because even I don't understand what, what I have read okay so you can create ro roll up summary fields that automatically display a value on master record based on the value of records in a detailed records okay so what does this line means is that we can create a roll up summary okay if there is master detail relationship only got it now this detail records must be directly related to the master through master detail relationship see now we will gonna see like what is roll up summary and how we can create it okay so here we have seen like form formula fields we use in percentage and we have calculate percentage in a second 
now uh, for roll up summary we, we will gonna do that like we have classes here right 11 um, i mean 10th 11th and 12th right and in that there are so many student like in 11th i have student yeah this much right one two three and four now what i need is that i need to create a field in class which will calculate a student and it will gonna show here like how many student are from this class that's what, what i want okay okay so what we're gonna do is first of all we're gonna go in class object okay see in student object class we have selected class okay class is a master detail rel relationship right okay so class is a master and stu uh, student is a child okay so we can create roll up summary on master not on child let me see here if i just create it on new okay you can see roll up summary is not showing like it can't be selected right okay there is a yellow things well i'll just gonna read it for you one minute okay it says you cannot create this type of field on this object because it is not master in a master detail relationship got it so who's who's the master in this relationship it is class so we're gonna get a class and in field and relationship we're gonna click on new okay i think okay roll up summary is visible here and can be self selected i'll gonna select it i'll gonna click on next okay i'll gonna name it so what should i name it so total student in class so yeah total students okay i'll gonna select next summarize object like which object i do need summarize so student okay what do i need some minimum max or just count i do i do what my requirement is just count like count the student which are related to particular class okay and we'll just gonna click on next in roll up summary we can count some we can find minimum maximum and all those stuff right and now I'll just gonna click on next and save okay okay so I'll just gonna refresh it see now we just have one field here class name okay I will gonna refresh it and we'll get see a one more field which is says total student there we go and it has cat, uh, calculate itself like uh, to this uh, class there are five student related right so we can see for other class also like for 12th how many students four student okay and for 10th i don't think there is anyone okay yeah, it's zero now so that is what we call as roll up summary i hope you got it right रोल अप समरी से आप अपना काम आसान कर सकते हैं जैसे कि ये था एज ए एग्जाम्पल कि कितने स्टूडेंट आपकी क्लास में हैं फिर और भी बहुत सारे यूज हो सकते हैं जैसे कि कोई अमाउंट को कैलकुलेट करना है आपको तो आप इसका यूज कर सकते हो एंड ऑल दो स्टप उसे हम कहते हैं रोल अप समरी ठीक है नाउ इट्स टाइम टू लर्न वैलिडेशन रूल सो what is validation rule okay validation rules verify that data entered by user in records meet the standard you specify before they can save it a validation rule can contain a formula or expression that evaluates the data in one or more fields and return a value of true or false when the validation rule returns a value of true this confirm that the data enters by the user an invalid value i hope you got it <laughs> okay let me explain you okay well validation ka matlab ye hota hai ki ye nahi karna theek hai 
ہم اس کو کہتے کہ یہ نہیں کرنا اور اگر وہ سچ ہو یہ نہیں کرنا تو پھر ہم اس کو دے گے ایرر کہ سنو یہ آپ کو نہیں کرنا ایسا دیٹس واٹ اٹ سیز ویلیڈیشن رول کین آلسو انکلوڈ ایرر میسج ٹو ڈسپلے ٹو یوزر وین دے اینٹر ان ویلڈ ویلیوز بیز آن اے اسپیسیفائڈ کرائٹیریا یوزنگ دس رولس افیکٹولی کنٹریبیوٹس ٹو کوالٹی ڈیٹا اوکے ٹھیک ہے اب اپنے ٹرائی کرے کہ کچھ کریٹ کرے ویلیڈیشن رول سو لیٹ می گو ٹو اسٹوڈنٹ نہ ہے اوپن اسٹوڈنٹ آبجیکٹ ایئر اوکے ویلیڈیشن ویئر وی کین فائنڈ از ان آئی ہیون کریٹیڈ یٹ اوکے سال جس گونا کلک آن نیو رول نائم سو واٹ شوڈ آئی نیم اٹ اوکے سو واٹ فیلڈ ڈو آئی ہیو ان مائی اسٹوڈنٹ دیٹ آئی کین یوز فار ویلیڈیشن اوکے ان امنگ آئی کین یوز ڈیٹ آف برتھ اوکے لائک ناؤ آئی کین پٹ ڈیٹ آف برتھ آف ٹو ٹو ڈے اینڈ آئی کین سیو اٹ اٹ سیوڈ رائٹ سو وٹ آئی گونا ڈو از آئی گونا گیو اے ویلیڈیشن رول وچ سیز وچ سیز دیٹ اف سم ون کلک آن ٹو ڈیز ڈیٹ آن دیئر برتھ ڈیٹ فیلڈ رائٹ اٹ ول گونا گیو دیم ایرر اوکے سو اوکے ول ٹرائی سکسیڈ ان دس ورک اوکے سو ڈیٹ آف برتھ ایرر and I'll gonna write here okay I'll gonna add something here date of birth error in this I'll gonna add insert field so which field I want like on which field I want this validation work right so date of birth date of birth so what should it be like validation on what so date of birth if date of birth is greater or equal to greater than or equal to I have here function which called today sorry my mouse sensitive is so high that it just go upside and down today I'll just gonna click on insert selection okay now I'll just gonna check syntax okay no error found now what I uh, what error message do I want to display so user can't put today's date as a date of birth oh, it's not for it it's birth okay user can't put user can't put today's date as date, date of birth okay prth or user uh, why should i write user like is user so you can't I don't think you can see the message which I have typed okay you can't put today's date as a date of birth okay and now where do I want this to display top top of the page like whenever someone uh, fill that field and just say press save it, it will gonna pop on top of the page or on a field on a specific field which I want so I'll just let it be on top of the page okay اب یہاں پہ میں نے کیا کیا میں آپ کو بتاتا ٹھیک ہے میں یہ کہہ رہا ہوں کہ اگر کسی کی ڈیٹ آف برتھ آج یا آج سے زیادہ ہو جو کہ یہاں پہ میں بتا رہا ہوں وہ سچ ہو تو اس کو یہ ایرر میسج سینڈ ہو جانا چاہیے ٹھیک ہے اگر وہ غلط ڈالے تو ہی آل جس کو نا سیو اٹ اوکے اینڈ آل جس کو نا چیک ہیئر لائک واٹ ڈز اٹ ورک I'm sorry how does it work okay in student date of birth has been today so I'll just gonna again go and I'll gonna input some years back and save okay and you can't put today's date as no I'm not putting to today's date at this okay it's just saved okay now I'll gonna put today's date 29th of June and say it will gonna show me you can't put today's date as a date of birth see that's what I'm talking that it will gonna show me an error and even if I put uh, 
future date then also it will give me this error this is what we call as a validation rule like we validated something here see now same way you can like create formulas roll up summaries and created your own validation rules like you can create here like uh, the mark should not be greater than 100 you can add here validation rule like someone put 110 or 101 you can just display an error message here can no you can't put marks more than 100 by using validation rules so yeah for today's session this is all we just learn about like formula rules formulas and validation chapter one okay so thank you like and subscribe our channel and we'll see you on our next video till then see ya and take care